welcome back to the channel. As always, doesn't matter who you are or how you found us, we're glad you're here. And hey, yeah, it's about time. Uh, where did you come from? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I've I've been here the whole time. I was just standing. I was just standing over there earlier. Okay, well, who are you? Uh, basically, I'm just you, except um, more handsomer and more cooler. Uh, and you've been doing all this yammering in your videos, and I just want to get to start talking about blasting the bad guys. Right, okay, well, there's a lot more to it than just blasting people. Nope, anybody comes through my place, and I'm just gonna <laughs> shoot them through the front door. Uh, uh, VP Biden had said in uh, an interview in Field and Stream uh, a few years back that if I felt scared, I would just, uh, uh, or wanted people to leave my house alone, I'd just shoot them with my shotgun through the front door. Okay, first of all, you're an idiot, and Biden, well, <sighs> okay, Justin, stay focused. Second, the only thing you're talking about doing is getting yourself sent to prison, or worse. What if your parents decide to make a surprise visit for the weekend? Are you going to shoot them through the door? Third, uh, there's a whole lot of stuff that you can do to defend your home uh, before you, you would ever need to start shooting. Plus, not everybody's going to be comfortable with uh, all of this. Well, can I just... No. You need to go. All right, go, go stand over there and, and listen to the rest of the video. In fact, you know what? No, no, just leave that here, though. Leave that here. All right, guys. Sorry about that. As I was saying, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're going to start a another two-part series. Apparently, I like these uh, about defending your home. This could be uh, pretty much in any scenario. Uh, whether good times or bad. I'm just going to give you some tips uh, and things like that of things you can do to defend your home. So I take it in two parts. Uh, the first part is going to be passive defense. So things you can set up, things you can do to help protect your home, um, whether you're there, whether you're away, uh, whether in good times or bad. And then the second part is going to be uh, active, active defense uh, of the home. That's where you're going to need to get involved with some kind of active protection, probably you know, physical, uh, as it were. So, all right, uh, let's get started. This video has been really shot. Some of it before my uh, before my move when I, we still had everything in our house. I uh, hadn't been able to do this voiceover portion yet here, so uh, here I am uh, to do that. What I'm going to do is I took a, some photos of my house, uh, some videos. I'm basically going to review the different security features, just kind of do a voiceover thing here. As we go through, you probably see me cut back between me, uh, and I'm sorry for the lighting in here. It's not, not the best. You got this shadow on my face, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so, and, uh, I'm not saying that I am currently in a secret underground bunker, uh, but I'm also say, not saying that I'm not. So, uh, you be the judge, I guess. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm just going to go into this and pause as needed. So first thing, uh, we're looking at, uh, upgrading your locks here. If you notice this lock, that's got the kind of the U shape there. This is something called a bi-lock. Uh, it's designed to not be easily pickable uh, or um, or bumpable. Um, and so you want to upgrade something like that, something that's just not your normal lock that's going to be able to be picked real easy uh, or or bypassed with a you know with a credit card or something. All right, and we're moving towards the front door of my house here. Uh, I think the point of this was kind of showing you we're going to pivot around here. Uh, so uh, kick plates, anti-kick uh, devices 
in the in the door there. This is called a this one's called a door devil. Um, you can see the different screws uh, and everything there in the door. Those are really long screws. They actually they don't just go into the first layer of wood. They're actually designed. They go deep into the actual framing of the door, uh, and then that metal plate runs probably three feet. Uh, so that means if somebody goes to you know kick the door in the force of that kick is not just directed behind that small deadbolt and that small piece of wood that's behind it, which just splinters out and the door comes open. N now that the force of that kick is now spread over that door jam, uh, just makes it so much more incredibly hard to just, for somebody to just do a brute force attack on your door and kick it, kick it wide open. Uh, and then that's going to be in conjunction with you can also put a plate on the outside of the door uh, around where the deadbolt comes in and out to prevent it from uh, from somebody jimmying that. And then on the other side, you've got these uh, holes you can drill uh, that come with the... Um, it either comes with the door devil or it's an upgraded part of the kit uh, where it's got long screws that go from the hinges into the door frame. And then... Uh, you saw those little bolts in there that sit in the other side. So that also keeps, the, you know, they, they're not just able to kick the other side and splinter out the, the really short screws from the hinges. All right, uh, next thing we're looking at here. So this is on the inside of my door. Uh, I think this is after I changed my locks back to the normal locks that came on the house as we were moving. But uh, you'll notice there's no, I don't use deadbolts or, or like the single throw on the inside of the deadbolt. Um, especially on a door like this, you can see uh, there's glass right there. Uh, the reason I don't use the deadbolt is because at that point, there'd be really nothing keeping somebody from just smashing that glass, reaching inside and throwing that deadbolt and walking right in. This way, um, I just, you know, when I'm done locking or unlocking the door, pull the key out. Now there's, even if they smash that window in, there's no way for them to just walk straight through the door. They're gonna have to continue that effort. All right, and if I didn't say it before, uh, when it comes to this kind of passive security, um, which hopefully, you know, this hardens your, your structure, a criminal's going to look at that and say, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to move on because this looks like too much effort to me. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on. Uh, but if you have somebody that's determined to get in, uh, what you want to do is buy yourself time time for you to react, whether that's you grabbing your, your own self-defense weapon, uh, whether that's calling 911, combination of both there, uh, you want to buy yourself time. So anything to slow, stop them or slow them down is what this is kind of all about here. All right, wrapping up with that door lock there. Um, if you don't have uh, or don't want to spring for those um, the door devil door reinforcement, something like this, uh, with the the door jam to go into the door handle, that's going to prevent somebody from from kicking it straight in like they normally would. Uh, again, and that's also something you can travel with if you wanted to take that to a hotel room uh, or or something like that. Jam that under the door frame uh, to give you that little bit of extra security, a little bit of extra warning if somebody is trying to force their way in. Uh, in addition, I think when I, so I took a picture of my, this pear and cedar chest here, uh, right inside my doorway, worst comes to worse. You know, you haven't done any of these other preparations uh, and you're worried that people are gonna come to your house and try to steal your supplies or harm your family. Drag something like that in front of the door, uh, kind of make that barricade uh, situation. And again, it gives you more time to uh, react or get away. All right, moving on, I think we're gonna go towards the front of the house here. So security systems, uh, it's it's good to have one if you wanna have that and pay for it. Um, this is a ADT here. Uh, now, one thing to say is you don't have to necessarily have that security system to benefit from the stickers uh, or the placards um, of the of that, fe the feature. If a criminal thinks you've got a security system and they're gonna be, the authorities are gonna be alerted as soon as they break some glass or jimmy the door, that thing's armed, 
that may just detour them. Uh, so you can pick up those placards and those stickers uh, very cheaply on Amazon. And I may even actually put some in the links below, uh, now, that I, now that I think about it. Uh, but uh, that can be a low-cost way to help add some security uh, to your location, especially during, well, you know, good, good times, times are normal. That would kind of deter somebody from trying to uh, force their way in. Uh, I think this is, ah, so exterior lighting. Lighting is a really good thing. Uh, on the on the outside there, the more you can keep those lights on around that, uh, criminals usually like to operate in uh, in the darkness and keeping those lights on where people passerby could see them, uh, something like that, uh, that their their activities could be monitored much more easily is going to deter people from trying to come uh, at night and break in. So exterior lighting, very good thing. Motion lights on the outside really good. This is my sliding glass back door. You can see the ADT sticker up there uh, in the window. Uh, there I am. Hey, look at that. Pointing at that sticker. Oh, look at that handsome devil. That guy. All right. And see then, uh, yep. So I don't just rely on the tiny little lock from that sliding glass door. Uh, that is something, I think I had some spare, spare parts here and I cut this metal rod to fit exactly in that sliding in that channel there. So if you go to open that door, it just doesn't, it's not gonna, you can yank on that thing and it's not really gonna open. Um, motion sensor light there, I just turned on to make sure that's on. And what I'm showing you right now is what you can't really see is there is a, not break proof, but there is a security film uh, on, on that back glass there uh, that I put up and so essentially, it's not going to keep, again, it's not going to keep a determined person from actually breaking through that glass eventually. If they've got a chair, a baseball bat, something else to keep ramming that thing, they're eventually going to get through, but it's going to give me extra time to respond with my own uh, active defense, my own uh, defensive tools. Um, and maybe after two or three hits, maybe they'll give up and go away. They're like, oh, I thought I was just going to smash this and walk in. This is taking a minute. I'm making lots of racket. I should leave before the cops show up. This is just kind of superfluous. One, if somebody did get into my house, slow them down. Uh, most of my kids now are really past the age of needing uh, the gate at the top of the stairs. But there's so many different kinds of these things and you you unhook them, unlatch them in different ways. I figure all, all of our bedrooms are upstairs. This is just something that's gonna slow somebody down. So if they're trying to get up the stairs to where my family is and harm us, uh, this is just something that can a little bit stand in their way. Even if they kicked it right out of the way, it's going to make them slow down for just a second, which may or may not give me the edge. That's my thinking behind leaving that thing up. Uh, so there, my one exterior camera. I don't know if you can see it on the tree there. I, I gave it a, a paint job and uh, kind of camouflaged it up there in the tree. I never had anybody come and say, hey, what, what's that doing up there? Because uh, it was up high enough where you, somebody couldn't just reach it, so you had to get on a ladder to get it. Um, I'd take it down every you know month and a half, two months, and charge it. Um, but it's got the IR illumination on it. Uh, there I am in the driveway uh, waving at it. So it, this one covered the front of my house. The other one covered the back of my house. Uh, I also, um, again, wise cams really affordable. Uh, they don't link into like HomeKit with Apple stuff. Uh, I think they do work with Amazon Alexa if uh, you, were, you were going that route, I think. Don't quote me. I just use the app on my phone, which I can view like up to four, four more videos, I think at once. So it gives me an idea. If I hear something at night, I would usually fire up that app and just take a look before I like overreact it or something. Um, there's also, you can also put them inside the house. I think this is a time when, uh, so this is just an example here of, you know, mo monitoring inside a, inside a home here and uh, just the di different angles. Obviously, this one's low light here, so it's got the infrared uh, kind of night vision going. And then um, 
but yeah, set it up different angles covering the entrances or high traffic areas of the house, but moving along, um, yeah, there's, there's the one covering the front door, uh, front door hallway there. And, uh, and then sometimes on occasion, there's a possum on the back porch, which I saved those videos just because the kids were like, oh, that's cool. Uh, you know, uh, oh, another thing here, I put, I threw this still frame in here showing that like, if you have cars parked outside and you have a garage door that you're using, don't just leave your garage door opener in plain view uh, of everything or your keys or pretty much anything valuable, especially that garage door opener. Somebody just smash that window, hit that button, they're in your house. Uh, so keep that, at least keep that out of sight. Uh, a lot of people's cars, uh, you know, the glove box on your car's locks. So throw it in there, lock that up. It's just that one extra step to slow, like slow somebody down. So uh, I think that's pretty much on uh, passive defense. Uh, try to get this edited and uploaded here soon. But um, let me know if the sound is better on this. Got this uh, new microphone here I'm trying to actually work in. Uh, I still haven't determined if the sound is actually coming through this uh, or if it's still, if it's the, uh, my iPhone microphone. I don't know. So if you think the sound's good, it's probably this thing. If you think the sound is bad because you hear everything in the background, it's probably that. Um, but I'm only going to do one take on this and because it's not like I have access to all the stuff I normally have access to. We're, we're on the road right now, so. Uh, but I wanted to wrap this video and get it to you. That's enough of me yakking. The next video will be about active defense uh, as far as being videos in this series. So, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later.